Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Today um, was supposed to be a beach day, but I have so much work that we are not going to the beach anymore. But I bought Joe the juice because you guys know how much I love this from New York and LA. Um, we got a lot of coffees and a lot of smoothies. And then I also got some pastries because their blueberry muffins are amazing. And I also got a banana bread as well but anyway we're gonna do some work and then we're gonna hit up downtown miami i think or like miami art district and you know shoot there and explore the city it is definitely dark outside it's not that i forgot to vlog this morning okay this entire day has just literally been a work day i just finished work and just finished getting ready and i'm going out to dinner so we haven't left the hotel at all at least i didn't at least safe worked out today but i didn't do Anything else besides work, which I think honestly, this is exactly why I try to avoid vlogmas or daily vlogs, especially from before, because I'm always like, there are literally many days where I just stay at home and I do work. So I don't even know what I would be sharing that day. But thankfully at the end of the day, we are still in Miami. So we still have to go out and eat. I didn't really eat anything otherwise besides for Joe the Juice, as you guys saw, which by the way, the coffee at Joe the Juice is not that great. Safe got the cold brew, not good. I got the pumpkin spice latte, also not good. So I've only ever gotten their green juices. I think I'm gonna stick to that because yeah, it was not great. And obviously their blueberry muffin is good, but that's pretty much what we ate today. And then I'll take you guys with me. In the meantime, I will share where my outfit is from today. So this dress is actually from Meshki. I really like it because it is naturally ruching, meaning that if you feel you know, it's not like super skin tight and the design is to have this ruching. So I actually feel a lot better in this dress than if it was like skin skin tight. The jewelry is from Monica Vinegar and I will share all the pieces in detail a little bit later. But just wanted to show you guys my look today and then we're gonna go basically to the restaurant now. Wow, we're walking through this park. It's so nice. It's just so weird to see a Christmas tree and then see palm trees. Like, that's just... And then I'm wearing a dress too, that's so weird. Also, if you are from Miami or live here or know a lot about it, is there recycling publicly in Miami? Because we haven't been able to find a recycling bin to recycle cans. And two people said there's no recycling bins. Actually, one person said no idea and the other person said no. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's ask that stranger no. right there. <laughs> okay, because this guy drank his drink, drink and then threw it in a garbage and that bothered me. So I was like, hello? Is there? And then, then he starts asking everybody if there's recycling bins. Anyway. At least it didn't end up on the side of a tree. <laughs> That's a win. We are finally at the restaurant. I'm gonna have to leave the name of the restaurant in a little bit, but this is our first course. This is our scampi and risotto. And there's also bread and cheese and butter, of course. And then we also got fettuccine alfredo. Wow, look at the pasta. Okay guys, I am back at the hotel now and I wanted to share with you my most recent Monica Vinader haul because as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I already mentioned that this jewelry company has single-handedly carried me through Art Basel because I really, really wanted statement pieces for this trip since Art Basel is known to be, you know, obviously like super artistic and all the people that are dressed up in Miami the fact that it's Miami and it's our Basel, it's like another level of fashion, just being bright, bold, etc. If you guys have been following the vlogs for a while now, you'll know that Monica Vinegar is my go-to destination for the statement pieces because they have a lot of beautiful pieces that stand out. These are the two rings that I already have that are sterling silver that I wore in Europe all throughout my surfing trip, etc. I also got this one a while ago. This one is just so pretty because there are just three prongs of diamonds and it's all in one so you can see that they're three little diamond rings that are clamped together and then when you put it on it's really pretty it looks like this so yeah every time i want really good quality gold for may pieces that are statement -y or sterling silver my go-to destination 
is Monica Vinegar. Also, if you guys didn't know, they sell it at Nordstrom if you're in Canada, but if you use my code, you get 20% off. The pieces that I'm wearing from some of the earlier pieces I got for the summer are these earrings right here. And I wanted to announce that they also launched a 14K collection. I'm currently in the midst of reviewing their 14K collection because usually I do stick with their gold verme and their sterling silver. But so far, I really, really like it. This one in particular, I have been wearing all month. This is like their very dainty chain necklace. This one's even more dainty and I find that when I wear it on its own, it's really, really cute. I also think I'm gonna get a pendant actually with it because I think it is so thin but isn't your typical like thin chain necklace, if that makes sense. So I really, really like this. Also, this diamond stud has been on my ear this entire month. This is what the diamond stud looks like. This is also from their solid gold collection. I want to show you guys all the pieces that I got for Art Basel. I'm gonna be putting all the links and the names on the side so you guys can check it out because I don't remember all the names on the top of my head. Actually, I'm gonna to try to put this on and then I'm gonna take this off to show you. One second. So the pieces that I have been really loving wearing and this entire trip I have been actually switching from gold and silver depending on what the incident is. So if you guys checked out my last haul, you'll know that one of the last pieces that I got from Monica Vinger were these statement earrings and necklace, which I've been alternating just depending on my belt and my bag that day, if it's gold or silver hardware. So this is the first time I have genuinely been switching my jewelry up like very, very frequently because I usually never take it off, but because it's our basil, I'm genuinely trying to make an effort on accessorizing as well. So the first necklace I want to show you guys, this one is because I already have the earrings in this design and I absolutely love it. Okay, so this one is inspired by the earrings I already have from the summer. This one is really cute. It's finally gonna match the earrings. So this is the first one. It really depends on the outfit, but I really like it with whenever I wear something like very black or whatever. But these are the earrings that I had from before that now match this necklace. It just genuinely looks like there's, I don't know, just liquid silver on my neck. And if you guys watched my other jewelry videos, you will know I really like that vibe. The next necklace that I got is actually this chain necklace, which I also want to wear on its own. I saw on their website that someone stacked these two together and I thought that was such a vibe. So that's why I got inspired. I also really like how this kind of clamps together because the way that it clamps together, it uses one of their own chains. So when you actually clamp it together, it's extremely seamless. So it doesn't matter if the back or the front is like twisted back or front because it literally looks the same. So once you clip it on, and as you guys can see, that was really easy. This is the back or this is the front. You can't even tell the difference because it just looks super seamless. So I saw people wear it like this. I saw it on their website and I got really inspired. So this was one of the looks that I wanted to create for this week in Miami. To match with all the silver, I realized that I don't have a lot of big statement silver pieces. So I got it from Monica. So this one is one of the pieces, this middle one. This one is probably the one that I get a lot of compliments on, aka like one or two people because it is still new, but you know, I did get compliments on it. And then this other one right here is also a very statementy one. It looks like a plain silver ring, but really it has a lot of texture and it has also like just shaping around it. So it's not actually as plain as it looks. As you guys can see, there is a lot of texture. And then I got two earrings, two hoop earrings to kind of have this like layering effect. The first hoop earring are these ones right here. This one has a little diamond on it. And then this small one has a diamond on it as well. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on and I'm also gonna take these earrings off. This one is also from Monica last time, but I wanted to show you the new earrings and how I wore it for Art Basel. Okay, so this has been my favorite silver look with all my pieces. 
This is the one that I got last time and it matches my new necklace like this. These are the new silver earrings I got and also the diamond earring from Monica. So this is pretty much the stack that I have. And also I forgot this bracelet is the matching bracelet for this necklace, but this has been the full silver look, you guys. I really, really like it. And I'm gonna be repeating this look a lot this week and probably this entire month, but this was definitely like such a Art Basel, like your jewelry is standing out type of vibe. Anyway, if you guys are also looking for some statement pieces or just some really, really good quality gold vermeil and sterling silver pieces, make sure you check out Monica Vinader. If you guys haven't heard of the brand, they're a UK based brand actually. They're really, really amazing. And also I have 20% off and make sure you also check out my website, lisaway.com slash Monica Vinader. You can check out my entire jewelry collection from them. And also, yeah, just shop whatever you find that are so pretty they're all uniquely designed and i'm just so obsessed with it so make sure you take a look and even get it for someone for christmas or something the pieces that they have last and it, it works so well so anyway that being said um i'm going to take you to the next part of the night mm -hmm.